Good evening, everyone. Um, I was just laying down, just talking to the Lord about um, things that have been going on in the world. And I was thinking about the reports that are going out about T.D. Jakes. And I've been kind of going back and forth in my head and in my heart. Um, I've heard different people say different things. Most of the people that I'm, I'm hearing saying, you know, you don't rejoice in their downfall and some people are saying, you know, that's what he gets or whatever. And they're like, oh, it's not the heart of Christ or whatever. And I'm not here to defend or agree um, either way. Um, for me, I'm, I'm, I was having a um, heart to heart with the Lord about how I feel personally. Um, and I think about all of the wicked things that this man has done. Bringing Oprah in and setting her before the church after she publicly and nationally declared that Jesus Christ was a liar, that he couldn't possibly be the only way. And there's millions of ways, you know, to get to God and, and all the different stuff that she said. And then you let her do her, her class and all those different things. And then all the, the wicked things that he's taught and, um, you know, the whole Diddy thing. Um, I don't know if he's, if he's guilty of the interaction, so to speak, uh, with Diddy. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say this. Nobody's going to like it, but it's just the same. When I hear people say, I know OJ did it. <laughs> You wasn't there, so you don't know. Unless he confessed to you, and even then you don't know because you don't know if he was lying or not. Um, especially people who get their information from the news. And we should all know better than that by now. But it's just it's one of those things. It's like, okay, I, I don't I don't know if the stories are true. I, I do look at how you bring this disgusting, vile individual. Um to the front of your church and praise his presence and all those different types of things. And, you know, you had no business being at a Diddy party. <laughs> the Bible says avoid the very appearance of evil. So, you know, not to get into all of the, you know, the accusations and all that different kind of stuff. And I'm looking at just the stuff that's, that's, that's clear. It, it amazes me that people still go to his church it amazes me that when they swung the camera that it was that many people that were still willing to sit under his quote-unquote ministry after everything um so there's a there's a there's a a bit of anger that rises up in me when i think about some of the things that T.D. Jakes has done that are blatantly against God, blatantly against the word of God and for the Bible knowledge that he has. And let's, let's be clear about Bible knowledge. Satan knows the Bible for, forwards and backwards. There's not a passage of scripture that he can't quote to you. Now, the problem is that when he quotes it, it's, it's in wickedness <laughs> and to deceive you in some way. Um, but knowing the Bible and being able to properly uh, teach on the word with power, the separation is the Holy Spirit. And you will never convince me that someone who has the Holy Spirit in them, teaching and leading and guiding them, would do the things that T.D. Jakes has done, like bringing Oprah on the scene. And people say, well, that was years ago. I never saw a video of him repenting for that or even acknowledging that it's something that he should have never done. Now, if it is, hey, I, I will stand corrected. I never have a problem saying I was wrong. I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't have pride like that. So it's not an issue for me. But the scripture that, well, let, let me say this, 
part of the conversation that I was having with the Lord this evening was, and I was, I'm, I'm, of course, I'm honest with the Lord. I mean, how can you not be honest with the Lord? But my struggle with the situation was more, Lord, when I think about the things that he's done, let me just, let me, let me set this record straight. I believe with my entire heart. Now, there's a difference between I believe and God told me. I'm not saying that. I'm telling you, this is what I believe. I believe that T.D. Jakes has always been a plant of the enemy. I believe that he's not saved. He's never been saved and, and, and had no intention on being. Now, I'm not saying this is fact. This is what I believe. I believe that he's always been a plant of the enemy to destroy the people in the church, the people of God. I believe that with all my heart. So I see him as an enemy of God. That's how I view T.D. Jakes. Now, I say all that to say, um, it angers me when I think of the things that he's done, the things that he's taught, um, the things that he's put before the people, the people that he has promoted and and all of it, 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 it angers me. And I'm saying that nice. Um, and I literally, I, I, I told God, I said it to be honest with you, Lord, I don't know how I feel. And if, and if how I feel is just or unjust, I don't know if how I feel is wickedness, if I need to repent, because I honestly don't know. Like I'm not re rejoicing, but let me, let me, let me, I'll give you a quick little story. There was a guy I used to work with that I thought was my friend, that I was, I was there for him through a lot of stuff. I mean, this man cried on my shoulder a couple of times. I would sit in his office and we would have conversation. He would share things with me, you know, um, long story short. He stabbed me in a back in the back and and the way that he did it was so atrocious and it wasn't just that he did what he did it was the aftermath after he did what he did after it was known that he was the one that did it and he knew that I knew this this person would walk past my desk and throw his head back and laugh now, this is the thing. I hadn't done anything wrong. I've always been an outspoken person. I'm not someone that you can trample over. Um, I'm not a pushover. I say what's on my mind. Um, people usually don't like me because I say what's on my mind. I don't bite my tongue. I don't back down from anybody. I respect hierarchy. I respect you all day. If you're my boss and all those different types of things. But what you're not going to do is treat me like I'm some little piece of trash that has to just do your bidding. You're going to respect me because my whole attitude is at work. We're a, we're all adults and we're going to respect each other. Now, you know, I respect my bosses and all those types of things, but you're not going to talk to me any kind of way. You're not going to treat me any old kind of way. That's just not, that's not who I am. And my person, and it's, it's funny because it's why, part of the reason why I like Donald Trump so much, you know, people say, well, he just says anything. Well, he's, he says <laughs> what's on his mind. And what's sad about it is oftentimes when he says what's on his mind, he's saying what you're thinking. You just don't have the guts to say it. But I, I found myself a lot of times in difficult situations because of that part of my personality. That's that's who God made me to be. And because of the call that he has on my life, it's it's who I need to be. You can't be a coward and and do what God's called me to do. So I say all that to say, um, when this guy did all the things that he did to me, I mean it was it was <laughs> Oh my lord. And the situ and the way the situation was is I got accused of doing something that I actually did, but it was what I did wasn't wrong. But someone else was at fault, but they blamed me because for some reason they didn't want to hold this other guy accountable for not doing his job. It was just it's too much to tell. I could I could tell it one day, but 
bottom line, and I didn't, I didn't back down from it. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not owning to that. Yeah, I did this. this that's what I was supposed to do. Um, but anyway, um, so after this, this guy did all the stuff that he did to me and then would walk past my desk and laugh and just all the other kind of stuff. And it was like the whole time, <laughs> the Holy Spirit was like, be still. <laughs> he was like, be still. I'm like, be still. What do you mean, be still? He was like, be still. And I don't know if you've ever been through situations like that where somebody has like literally has done you in. <laughs> God is saying, don't, don't you, don't you say a word. Don't, don't you retaliate. Don't just, just be still. It was hard. So it was like, maybe, I don't know how many years later, probably three or four years later, I get off the elevator and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm talking too much, but I get off the elevator and one of my other coworkers stops me. She says, Tracy, did you hear that this guy had a heart attack and a stroke at the same time. And he's in the hospital and they found out that he has four state, he's in stage four cancer. And my response to her was, and now I know you could probably think it, Oh, you're just wicked. You're a wicked person, whatever. Now I will say this at the time that I got that news, I didn't rejoice, but I didn't care. Now, I'm not saying that that's right. I'm not saying that that's evil. That's just how I felt. I I wasn't in, oh, and go back to my desk and, oh, Lord, I just want to lift this guy to you. And I pray, for, you know, that you were here. None of that. None of that. Now, I'm not saying that was just, and I'm not saying that it wasn't just. Honestly, I, but I'm honest with God about how I feel. Now, looking back over it, and this this is where it gets sticky for me, and this is where I've I've just I've literally just said to the Lord, "This is how I feel. I'm not real sure of how I feel, but this is this is where I'm at. And Lord, if I'm wrong, show me so that I can get it right because I don't want to have an evil heart, but." As time went on, there was a part of me that felt that I had been avenged by my God. I felt like God had avenged me. Now, I didn't get up from my desk and do a dance. I didn't, it wasn't that kind of celebratory, you know, wasn't, I was, I never celebrated it um, or any of those things. But at one point he came back to work. Because uh, he was he was out he was off from work for a while for months, and at one point he came back to work, and I was walking down the hallway, and he was walking down the hallway, and I looked at him, and he was already a little guy, but he looked like a little kid in a grown man suit. He had shrunk down to nothing, and the Lord said, "Greet him," and I did, and it wasn't there was no reluctance in me. And when I said, I, I said, hey, I don't want to say his name, but but I said, hey, so and so, how you know, how you doing? And I and it was since it was sincere. Um, I I didn't hold a grudge. I I didn't hate him. And it probably, like I said, it was a few months after I found out what had happened to him. Because like I said, he was he was gone for for a few months. I can't remember if it was six months or I don't think it was a whole year. But um, his whole face lit up. His entire face lit up when I spoke to him and told him, hey, you know, I'm praying for you. And I, I, by that time, I actually had started praying for him that God would save his soul. Um, you know, you hear people say, well, you know, when you get to stage four, that's that's it. God can deliver anybody from anything, um, whether or not God chooses or chose I don't know if he's if he's still alive because that's that's been a few years I I left that company in 2019 um but sometimes you know we we pray God to heal and it's more important for God to deliver them to salvation um those were the prayers that I prayed that God would Lord, Lord if it's your will that he leave this earth 
I pray that he comes to know you, that he comes to know your son in the pardoning of his, of his sins. I say all that to say, if what happened to T.D. Jakes brings him to repentance, praise the Lord, bless his holy name. I'm not sad about what happened to him, but I'm also not rejoicing, but I do rejoice in this. The word of God says, fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious of the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. T.D. Jakes has done a lot of evil. He's done a lot of wicked things that are against God, that are against the church, that are against the word of God. And there's a reckoning that comes because God said, I will not be mocked. That everything you do, you shall reap what you sow. It's going to come back on you. If you, if, if you sow righteousness, you, you'll reap eternal life. And if you, if you sow wickedness, you'll reap destruction. And not rejoicing in what happened to him. I don't look at that video and say, yay, that's, that's not it. But there should be something in a believer that can rejoice in the faithfulness of God in his word. Because guess what we're seeing? The word of God come to pass. Now, I, I don't want him to die because my 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 judgment says, and I'm, I'm, just, and I'm not saying this like I have a judgment. I don't have a heaven or hell to put anybody in. And because I believe what I believe about him. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 5, we we don't judge those that are outside. He's inside because of the place that he set himself inside the church. But I say that he's outside of the church because I don't believe the man is saved. I don't believe he's ever been. That's what I believe. And because I believe that, you know, I don't judge, you know, judge it. But my 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 whole opinion of the of the matter is. If he dies right now, he's going to hell. I don't wish hell on anyone. So my prayer for him would be that this would open his eyes and that he'd wake up and repent and get himself together. Now, um, I'd be a little skeptical of reports that he's turned things around or whatever. I, I I would hope to at least begin seeing those reports. At least it's, it's you know, something to look forward to. But um, people are so quick to get on social media and, well, you know, as Christians, we shouldn't be rejoicing. And we da 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 And it's like, because you're judging. Now, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what, what's in the hearts of people. And I've not seen anybody, I've not seen any videos of anybody rejoicing and, or I've only heard commentators say what they're hearing other people say. And they're saying that people are saying, well, that's what he gets. And he got what he got. And, and you know, well, well, we all deserve to go to hell. Okay. But we're not all doing the things that he is doing. And I think that there should be a level of celebration in seeing God do what his word said. He said, you do this, there's a consequence of it. Now, I think the problem that we have is we tend to judge a person's response from one angle, from one point of view not seeing that maybe these people are saying that's what he gets be simply because that's kind of what the word says. <laughs> it's kind of what the word says. He's reaping what he sold. He has mocked God and he's now paying for it. Um, Again, I don't wish evil on him. I hope that he repents. I hope that if... If his time is up that he repents before that last breath, I don't wish him any evil, but I do rejoice in seeing my God be faithful to his word.
Because sometimes you watch the evil that people do and they go on and on and on and they do more and more and more for years and years and years. And there's a part of there should be a righteous indignation in a true believer that says, God, when are you going to make your word prosper in this thing? Sometimes you get tired of say just just like with the election. I was worn out from the evil that the Democrats are doing. So then when I see all these people doing videos of these people going crazy because they lost, yes, I rejoice in that. Absolutely. I rejoice in your misery because you made us miserable for, well, really, since Obama. <laughs> Don't be so quick to criticize people for being happy about what happened to T.D. Jakes because their happiness may not necessarily be about what happened to him, but it could just be that they were tired of seeing his evil and wondering when God was going to do something about it because his word says, you reap what you sow, fret not thyself. There's so many scriptures and you know, God does things in his own time and we don't, we don't question that. And we don't, you know, we, we don't, but when, 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 when you see God get the victory over his enemies, because I believe he's an enemy of God. I believe what, there's nothing you can say to change my mind about that. There is a rejoicing that goes on in your spirit because I feel like God has taken vengeance on his name. If I'm saying that right, I might not have said that right. Um, You've blasphemed his character, presenting yourself to the world as a man of God that I believe was never called by God, but do all of these things that the Bible specifically says not to do. So don't be so hard on people. I, I, you know, there might be some people that are rejoicing just because oh, I'm glad it happened. And I, that, that, that's, that's between them and God, but not everybody that's happy are happy wickedly. Sometimes it's a righteous indignation and people are saying, I'm rejoicing in the fact that once again, I'm seeing the word of God walking down the street and presenting itself to the world. Maybe that's what it is. Anyway, that's all. I just wanted to say something and I am, I'm still, I'm still praying about how I feel and I'm leaving it to the Lord, but I, I felt in my spirit a need to just to say something, I'm nobody, you know, you know, I don't get a lot of views. I, I don't do this for views. I don't make money or I don't, I don't know what the word is. It I can't think of the word <laughs> that they do on, on YouTube where you get paid, monetize. I don't do any of those things, but I just felt like, you know, I got, I literally, I was in bed for the night and I was like, get up and do, just speak on it or whatever, say whatever. And then go back to bed, which is what I'm going to do because I have to be at work in the morning. But anyway, I love you guys. Um, however you feel about what happened, I, I just I just say, you know, be be honest about your feelings. You know, talk to the Lord about it. Let him lead and guide you. Um, and if 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 God says that how you feel is wrong, repent and ask him to, to change your heart. Um, I haven't gotten there yet where I feel like the Lord or the Holy Spirit is saying, you know, how you feeling is wrong. Um, but I just wanted to do this video um, and just caution people. Don't be so quick to condemn people for rejoicing in what's happening because their rejoicing could be righteous. It might be a righteous celebration because of the evil that T.D. Jakes has done. Um, God bless.